Let my garden grow. 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 Hello and welcome to Let My Garden Grow with me, Stephen Hartley. In this series we'll be exploring my garden and hopefully your contributions if you choose to let your garden grow. This is my small garden in North Oxfordshire and I've been letting this grow wild for about three or four years. Some areas have had a bit longer but I was still interfering and trying to do things myself. And as you can see it's mainly grass which actually is one of the most efficient specimens on this planet for absorbing sunlight and feeding the soil. Now here is where the magic happens. What's allowed here is this bramble bush has been allowed to grow and therefore has brought up nutrients from deep down allowing other things to spring up. There are still things that I planted in this garden which may not be ideal but they are surviving. Now as you see the bramble decide to go all the way over here and then sprout down allowing for things to grow. And obviously it's winter now so we'll do another video when the flowers start coming out in spring. Now over to my back garden. Uh, here in the back garden I've been letting things grow wild for much longer, about uh, seven or eight years. And we have a bramble bush here which is covering a large area of the small garden that is. It's gone right up there. But it's a real haven for the birds. And um, fueled by my compost patch where I throw all my food waste that never meet obviously helps feed it but what we see here we have a tree that sprouted up there we have trees that have sprouted here this one's a cherry tree another tree I left there We move into the back here, which is the only bit that gets a bit of sun. It does look like a mess. But what I suspect is happening here this year is that the bramble is actually going to die out. Uh, last year it had a real abundance of, of fruit and berries, and that's a kind of a sign that it's nearing the end of its life as it throws out all it can. Under this table here we have potatoes, I have nightingales nesting in my little thing there. This was a underground rocket heater I decided to try and make but I don't use it. There are hedgehogs. Ooh. Hedgehogs have used that underground bit down there before and uh, I need to sort this out but yes nature wild give it over to nature When I come out here in the morning, one of my most favourite things to look at is this. It's just an ant 
termite hill. But there's life. Life is in my garden. Under the ground. Living. It doesn't come out so well on camera. But I love looking at it. I love looking at all of it. This is a wild geranium. Neighbours just put up a new fence. This was all from last year and this had a flower on it right till December. So you leave, leave the old sticks to um, let the goodness go back into the plant. Yeah. And there it is again. There's another one sort of here. But I don't know what that one's doing. Can't really see much going on. As you can see here, my path, you need to take a diversion to come to my front door. Okay? You can't walk straight down the path. Alright? There's a good reason for this. No bad bacteria coming into my house. Only good bacteria. And uh, here in the back it's doubly more so. Now I did use to sweep the paving stones here. These ones I haven't swept, that's just from walking. But I was sweeping them and then I noticed that the birds would go into my compost pile there and they'd just throw everything about. So I thought, let them do the gardening, right? Why, why should I do it? And then one day, social pressure was getting to me, I thought, I'll just go and sweep it. I went to grab my broom, and I lifted it up, and it basically broke and fell off. And that was the universe telling me to stick with my instincts. And, uh, yeah, that hasn't been a problem. And so it just helps. Good bacteria in the house. It's all good. Thank you. 